Welcome to the How to Use Samsung Smart Switch Guide. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process to transfer everything from your existing phone, if it's an Android, a Samsung phone, or even an iPhone, to your brand new Samsung Galaxy device. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now before we begin, the very first thing I suggest that you do is transfer your SIM card from your old phone to your brand new phone. Now you may need to call your carrier to activate the new SIM card, or you may need to call and just activate the phone. But here inside the box, you get this little tool. So I'm just gonna pull this up. And right here in the top of this phone on the side of other phones, I can pull this out. And here we have the micro SD card and here we have the SIM card. So this part is what transfers your phone number. I'm gonna leave this in here to show you what the SD card can do later. And then I just need to pull out the same thing on the Note 9 or the Samsung device that you're going to. Sometimes it's back behind the battery, so I'm just gonna pull this out. And there you can see I have the SD card spot right there, and then here I have the SIM card spot. So this, again, that's what's gonna transfer my phone number. So for whatever reason, maybe the phone doesn't actually connect to the network. You wanna make sure that you test that before you transfer everything from the old phone to the new phone. Now that we have transferred the SIM card, we'll go ahead and turn both of the phones on, and then we will be ready to go. So in today's video, I will be using the Samsung Galaxy S9 over here, and here I have the brand new Galaxy Note 9. I now have both phones booted back up. Over here, I saw that this connected to LTE. I could make a phone call just to double check that the phone and everything works, but we're just going to go ahead and proceed. By the end of today's video, my goal is to have all of this information from these apps and other similar apps transferred to the new device. Now first, if you are using a non-Samsung Android phone, go into the Play Store and download Smart Switch on your existing phone. That will be the first step. If you have an iPhone or you already have a Samsung phone, all you need to do is go into the new phone and then we're gonna go into the settings here. So you can go into the settings right there at the top or you can swipe up and right here we have the settings option. And then I am going to go down and find clouds and accounts. Under clouds and accounts, here is the smart switch option. So this is what will open up the smart switch application. This is my first time. It will kind of explain to you what it's going to do and what it's going to transfer over. So I'm just going to click OK, and then we're ready to transfer. Now, just for demo purposes, I'm going to show you the same thing over here. If you are transferring from a Samsung phone or a non-Samsung phone, I suggest you go in here on both phones and select the wireless option. This allows the phones to connect and then transfer via a Wi-Fi connection between the phones. So here on the old phone, I would select send. On the new phone, I would select receive. And then here you just have to wait for it to connect together. You may have to turn up the volume on your devices for them to connect. And then it's going to show you all the information that it's going to transfer. So here we have contacts, messages, calendar, everything there, and you can check and uncheck what you would like to have transferred. Now down here at the very bottom, you do have an SD card option. So if I left my SD card in here, I can then have it transfer that information over to the internal storage of the new phone. Now, if you just wanna move the SD card over from the old phone to the new phone, you could do that as well. So then if this looks good, you would hit send and then it would transfer everything over. And once it's done, I'll, I'll show you that part coming up. But let's say we want to transfer from an iPhone or we want to transfer from just another Samsung phone. So we're gonna go back into Smart Switch and here we're gonna choose the USB cable. So the USB cable it's talking about actually comes in the box of the newer Samsung phones. So this is an OTG cable, and on the bottom here you have a USB-C. Some of the older phones had a micro USB. But now I just need to take this and plug it right in to my new phone. So I'm gonna select USB, and then I plug this right into the new phone. And then depending on what the older phone is, if it's a Galaxy S7 or older, you would need to go and get a micro USB cable. So here I have one. If it is a Samsung Galaxy S8 or Galaxy S9, so here you can just use the new cable that comes in the box. Here it has the USB on this side, and then it has the USB over here, and you would just plug it in like that. 
And then if you had an iPhone, you would plug the USB into this part, and then you would plug the lightning cable into the iPhone. And as soon as you plug it in, you'll get a pop-up that asks if you want to trust the computer on the iPhone. So you wanna hit trust, and then I'll show you what it will do next. So now we're ready to go. I'm gonna plug this right into the OTG cable down here on the bottom. And then I'm going to take the USB cable right here, and I'm gonna plug it into my Galaxy S9. So as soon as I do that, it pops up with this option, and we want to receive information from the old phone. So I'm going to select receive, and then over here, it asks me to tap allow, so that I allow the information to be pulled over. Just like the iPhone, it will say, do you trust? You would select trust, and then it will start scanning and can pull over the information. So here you can see I just have the OTG cable to USB, and then over here would be the micro USB, the USB-C, or the lightning cable. And then it is going to scan through the old phone and find all of the documents that it can transfer over. And so here it has pulled up all the information that it can find. So it says my total transfer time will be about 52 minutes. And then here it's saying that I have 3,856 contacts from all of these different applications. Maybe I don't wanna transfer all those. I could select the settings right here and I could turn off certain things that I don't want to have transferred over. So let's say I only wanna transfer a few of those items. I'm gonna select done. And then here it says I have 14,000 text messages. Now I could do the same thing if I don't wanna transfer all of those. I could go down here and say only transfer the last 30 days, the last six months, but today I'm just going to select all. And then here we have calendar, reminder, Samsung notes, call log, clock, internet, even my email account information. And if you have an Android or a Samsung phone, it will actually transfer the application and some of the data depending on the app over. And this is the one thing, if you have an iPhone, it will not transfer the app over because iPhone apps don't work on Android phones. So it will give you a list of all the apps that you had on your iPhone and recommend replacements for an Android device. And most of the time they're very similar to the apps that you were using on your iPhone. And again, I can select the settings here and I could disable or turn off the apps that I don't want to have transfer over to this new phone, but we're just gonna transfer everything I have today. And then here I have an option to transfer settings. So certain settings will be transferred over. And then here I can transfer my home screen. So the same layout I have on this phone will transfer over here and that will only work, I believe on Samsung phones. And then down here you have a media and documents option. So I can transfer all the images I have on the old phone, any music files, and that will even work if you have an iPhone and you've downloaded the music. And then here we have video files. So I have two gig there. Again, I can go in and select and uncheck videos that I would not want transferred. Here I have recordings. And then here I have documents right there. And then here again, we have SD card information. So if I wanted the SD card info to be copied over to the new phone, I would just check those boxes and it would be copied to here. But I think I'm just gonna move my SD card so we're not going to move those. Now, before you have plugged in any of this, you may wanna make sure that your batteries are fully charged. It may take some time. This phone will actually charge the other phone, the old phone, while it is doing the USB cable. So if you were wondering when you should use the USB cable here versus using Wi-Fi, you would only want to use Wi-Fi if it is a non-Samsung Android phone or a Samsung phone. And I recommend to use the OTG cable if possible so that it can have the fastest transfer rate. So if you're going Samsung to Samsung, or if you're going from an iPhone to Samsung, make sure you're using this OTG cable. So, all right, now that I've got all that out of the way, now we can select transfer. And here it's saying it's gonna take 49 minutes because I unselected some of those items. So we're just gonna let it go through and do its thing. And here it says that it is going to be a 17 gig transfer. And after I'm done, there should still be 107 gig left on this device. So now we are just going to select transfer. So then it will prepare all of the information, start downloading it over onto the new phone. Once it is complete, it will give us a notification that we can unplug it, and then it will start saving everything in the proper space.
So let's get to that point. Now, if you get stuck at any part of this video and you're unsure on the process, I've made a detailed video about each of the ways to transfer if you have an old Android phone, a Samsung phone, or if you are using an iPhone. So make sure you click the playlist at the end to follow those as well. Now, if for any reason your phone gets stuck, say you're using an iPhone and it gets stuck at 99% or it gets stuck a little bit along the way, if it's more than an hour or two, I recommend you try again, disconnect and try again after just one hour, or maybe there is some content on your phone that is glitching out and is not able to finish the transfer. So you may need to try another method and I'll leave a link to that at the end of this video. All right, it is all done. So over here on this phone, it does say that it is all done and you can close the application. And then over here, it says it is all done. Here it transferred 16.34 gig. And then down here, it shows all the different applications and what it transferred. So if you click on one of those, it will go into that application and you can see that information that was transferred. And then down here are some more features in which you could learn more about how to use some of the new features on your phone. So first let's go into contacts. I haven't synced any accounts or anything to this phone. And you can see that I do have plenty of contacts there. I do have 1,444 contacts. So then I go back, if I wanna go into the messages app, there you can see that it pulled in my contacts and it has all the text messages that I previously was using. And then here we can go into the calendar. Now I do use a few different calendars on Google Calendar, so I don't have many things that have transferred over here, but you should see any calendar events that you have stored on the old phone, on the internal storage, over here to the new phone. Now, if you use Google Calendar, they will not show up unless you go in and add your Google account and sync the calendar. So now let's go to the reminders. So there it uses this Bixby Reminders app. It transferred all of those over. And then here we have the Samsung Notes. So I haven't signed into my Samsung account to sync those or anything. I can just cl click skip. And then here we can see any of these Samsung notes that I had. Here we have the call log. So we have all the call log there. Here we have the clock. So any of the alarms that I had set up, they are there. And then here we have the internet. So any bookmarks, save pages, and other information was transferred in the transfer. So here I'm going to go back into smart switch there, my email. So I would need to go in and re-verify my email account and sign in. Here we have apps. So if I select apps, it will show me all the applications that I have transferred. As you can see on this phone, I do have a ton of applications. So those look like they have all moved. So if you are using an iPhone under the apps, you would just select here and it will show you a list of all the applications you had installed over on your iPhone. And then here you would just tap and it would take you into the Google Play Store where you can download those applications and it will match them with applications. So it's gonna find the Amazon app or the Facebook app, but some of the applications may not be available on Android and it will give you a recommendation based upon that. So then down here we have our home screen. So this is just what the home screen layout was. So if we select home, you can see that a lot of these transferred over. Some of them did not go into the right place, but here we have multiple screens. And for the most part, it was able to transfer all of those over. Up here at the top, it is showing that a lot of those applications are still installing. So the transfer of the data only took about 17 minutes it is now just finalizing all of those apps and putting them on the phone again. That's kind of what's gonna take the full 47 minutes. Now I forgot to mention that once the transfer is complete, you can remove the cables from the bottom of the phone. They do not need to be plugged in anymore. So there you can see it did a really good job of getting pretty much all of my pages and everything moved over from this phone to this phone so let's go back into here and here we have images. So we could go into our gallery and if we go into the gallery over here, we can see that we have those same images even from the top there. And then if we go into the video app, so video app pulls open the gallery, but it's just showing that it did transfer the videos. If you're using an iPhone, you may need to download the VLC player to be able to watch your .mov files. So just make note of that. And then down here we have 
the recordings. So any of the voice recordings that I did, it is in here. It also transferred like any of the audio that I had downloaded. So here are some of the songs I have downloaded. They are now on this phone. And then last we have documents. So in the My Files app, those are all the documents I've had downloaded to my phone. If I open documents here, I can see all of those all on this new device. And so there you go, that is all the information and all the data that has been transferred over here. So I'm just going to show you, if I select more features, here it's saying that you can use Samsung Cloud to back up 15 gig of data, so pictures or um, other content. Um, I'm going to skip that for now. And then here you could choose to have a home screen or you can choose to have a home screen and app. So a home screen, if you're on an iPhone previously, that's kind of what it's like where you don't have an app drawer, just all the apps are on the home screen or here you can hide the apps you don't wanna see. So I'm gonna keep it that way and now I'm going to select close app. So here is your home page. If I swipe up, there are all my applications. Now all these gray apps are applications that are currently downloading. So now let's talk about transferring over your accounts. So here, if I want to transfer over my Facebook, it does not transfer with the smart switch transfer. So I would need to go into Facebook and I would need to actually sign in to my account. So one thing that you can do on this new phone is when you try to sign into an account, it will give you this notification about Samsung Pass. Now Samsung Pass will sync with your Samsung account and it will actually save and store your logins for all of the apps in the Samsung Pass application. So the first time that you go through and do this to your new phone, you'll be saving all that information if you set it up. And then the next phone, you would just need to sign in so I can sign in with my Samsung account, verify Samsung Pass, and then I click a button and it enters in my login info. So you will need to re-sign in to all of the applications that you used, including your Gmail, Facebook, Instagram, all of that, you will need to do that on the new phone. Now let's talk about the Clash Royale or any of the other games that you have if you are moving them over to the new phone. Now, if you are on a Android phone, many of the games may sync with your Facebook account or they will sync with your Google Play Games account. But if you're going from like an iPhone over to Samsung, you will need to go into the settings of that app and make sure you can transfer that information over. So here within Clash Royale, I would need to go up to the settings. And here you could link maybe your Supercell account or Facebook account. And then there's an option to transfer that game data over to the new phone. When you do that, it will transfer exactly where you were to this new phone. So you just need to have the app on this phone, go into the settings and follow the same steps. So I'm not sure what games work and what don't work, but that's where you would need to go to verify that you can transfer information from this phone over to this phone. Now, if there's anything missing on this new phone, before you wipe this phone or trade it back in, I recommend that you kind of go through and double check that everything is there. Now, if I want to go and sign into my Google account on this new phone, just go into the settings again. So pull this down, select settings, and then you're gonna go down here to clouds and accounts. And then here we go to accounts and I can add an account. And here I would go through and add any of these accounts. So these are all the apps that I've downloaded on my phone that can take an account. So I would just want to go in and select Google and then I would want to sign into my Google account here so that then it can start transferring all of my other information that I may have stored on there. So maybe contacts or your calendar or photos through Google Photos app, all of that onto this new phone. Now, if you're using an iPhone to transfer your contacts over to the new phone, you will want to go into the settings of the device and turn off iCloud backup on the contacts. Once you do that, it stores them onto the internal storage and then it will be able to transfer them over to your new device. All right, all of the applications have finished installing. So if we go in here, you will see that none of them are gray anymore. Now I will note that Clash Royale just disappeared because it is stored in the game launcher. So here you would want to find this application and then we can add it to our home screen. And that is where it's going to store all of your games on the new phone. 
Now I'm gonna go through and one by one, I will need to open up all of these applications, make sure that I've signed into them, get my email set up, and customize anything else I would like to do on this phone. But you should have everything that you were using on your old phone, now on your new phone. From the start of the smart switch transfer, it did estimate about 47 minutes and it did finish just about right on the button. So that was very impressive from start to finish. It does take a bit of time, but just be patient with it and then you will have everything over here. Now these methods only copy the information from the old phone to the new phone. Everything is still retained on the existing device, whether you're on Android, Samsung or iPhone. So you could go back to that info at any time you will only lose the information on here if you go through and factory reset your device. So that's pretty much how you transfer everything from your old phone to your brand new Samsung Galaxy device. And we are finally complete. So if you follow this video, hopefully it helped you get everything from your old phone to your new Samsung device. If you have any further questions about this process, please leave a comment below. And if you would like to see other ways to transfer your data, maybe this just did not work for you, make sure you select the playlist over here on the side. And if you would like to learn more about the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 9, make sure you select the playlist on the bottom. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.